Hey, what's happening guys? We're using a new camera today, so bear with me. If you remember, a week or so ago, we built this neat little kit from LearnToSolderKit.com. This one is called Hue. And the reason it's called that is because you can adjust the RGB values. Very slight green in there, see that? Nice red and orange. Anyway, you can see this is a super simple circuit. We have three potentiometers, resistors, a uh, common cathode, RGB LED, CR2032 battery, and a switch. Neat, easy, nice kit, teach you to solder. Well, they also sent me their new and upgraded version of Hue. So we're going to take a look at that today. Look at the components. I'm going to build it up. And then we're going to see what they did differently. So here's our parts list. Looks about the same as the last one. The board, on the other hand, looks somewhat different. different potentiometers all right so I'm gonna build this and then we'll take a look you guys let me know what you think All right, so it's easy. It was an easy build. You know, it took me about two songs listening on the radio. Put in the battery, powered up, and we got a nice green color. That is very blue. extremely green and really red and again you can get just about any color you like that looks purplish to me all right, I am going to turn on the lights. Watch your eyes. So, as you can pretty much see, they behave the same. Those are both full on red. change into blue here to my eye the brightness looks to be about the same so they function the same values of the resistors appear to be the same so what's different what have they changed well, the original we have a rectangular circuit board on the uh, uh, updated version we have an octagonal circuit board which is a little bit more stylish looking however I prefer the look of this one with the potentiometers closer to the circuit board than this one with the 
edges of the potentiometer sticking off. Maybe uh, make this board a couple millimeters larger in each direction so that the potentiometers are more solidly mounted on the board. Not that they're not solidly mounted, they are. But I would like to see a couple more millimeters all the way around. That's really the only complaint I have with this. Otherwise, the circuits are the same. They are quite easy to solder. Very nice, very fun. And again, this is from Learn to Solder Kit. Kits.com using open source hardware and the instructions are available online. I will put a link down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Learn to Solder Kits for sending these out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.